In both hands, the F is the only note that's being altered, right? In my left hand, we're gonna flat it, and then in my right hand, we're gonna sharp it. We're gonna raise it, okay? So it's going from here to here. So basically, you can use this in like a seven, three, six. You know, with whatever voicings that you're gonna use. Hey, welcome to another Chord Crush Thursdays video. This is JP. Jonathan Powell, thanks for tuning in. And we do this every week. We break down different chords, different progressions. That way that helps you to build your chord vocabulary. You learn, I'm learning too as well as I come up with different things from week to week. So make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you don't miss out on any of the future videos as well as if you like our content, help us to grow by hitting that like button. It's gonna help us a lot. I wanna see this video get to a thousand likes. So if you can, hit that like button and let's jump into the video. So for this lesson, we're gonna be in the key of B flat major. So B flat is our one, C is the two, D is the three, E flat is the four, F is the five, G is the six, A is the seven, and then we're at the one again, B flat. So that's the number system and scale for the key of B flat major. I'm gonna try to make this video five minutes. I try every week, but sometimes I go over. But I'm only gonna show you this one chord that happens on the six, okay? So usually on the sixth tone in most cases, um, depending on the style, you're gonna find that the sixth tone is gonna be some type of minor chord. Um, this can go for anything. You can be playing in church or you can be playing a song, depending on the style. Um, a lot of times the, the six is minor. So the chord that I wanna show you um, sounds like this, okay? So basically this chord can be a substitution for like a minor 11 type of chord, okay? So this is a G minor 11 chord and it's voiced G, F in the left hand and then B flat, F, A, and C. But what if you don't wanna play it like this? Typically you would hear this chord in a chord progression when you're going from like the three to the six. Okay, so I just went from a, a D7 with a sharp five and sharp nine. Okay, that type of chord going to the six tone. So this is a three, six chord progression, right? But this chord can be altered in I want to give you different options of things um, that's outside of the normal. So that's the whole point of this series. Um, I'm going to probably get into more simpler chords too as well. Um, but I'm starting off showing you some different things that you could do to alter some of the chords that you might already play. So if I start with like the basic G minor 9 chord, right? Basically what I'm doing is I got G and F in the left hand and then B flat, D, F and A. So what I would do to alter this chord to the other one, well, I would take the seven and I would flat that, okay? So now I got G and E in the left hand. And then in the right hand, pretty much I'm omitting the D to kind of focus in on the melody or the, the harmony of this F, I'm gonna raise that, okay? So now instead of playing G, F, B flat, D, F, and A, I'm only playing G and E in my left hand, okay? So I'm just taking the left hand and lowering that F down to E. And then in the right hand, I'm taking away the D and I'm raising the F to F sharp, okay? So that's a voicing that you could play for this one, okay? With that A on top, and then you could just play it like this. And sometimes you might hear this chord over the two, okay? Like going from a two, to the five, to the one. So that's more of a dominant sound, but you can also do this chord over the six, okay? So now, if I wanted to take this same minor nine chord and how we alter that, well, you can pretty much do the same thing with the 11. Like this is a, now I took the chord and changed it from a G minor nine, but if we make it a G minor 11, we can use that same alteration. 
where I lowered the F in my left hand down to E. And then now I'm already, because I'm making a stretch, like it's kind of hard to play <laughs> a G minor 11 with all the, all of the notes involved, which will be B flat, D, F, A, and C, right? Unless you're playing it with two hands. So basically, I just naturally omitted the D and I play B flat, F, A, and C, right? And it's more of an open sounding voicing, but we could take that same alteration and all I gotta do is take the F and raise it up. And then in my left hand, take the, the F and lower it. So in both hands, the F is the only note that's being altered, right? In my left hand, we're gonna flat it. And then in my right hand, we're gonna sharp it. We're gonna raise it, okay? So it's going from here to here. So basically you can use this in like a seven, three, six. You know, with whatever voicings that you're gonna use. Okay, so this is the chord I wanna show you. It's just a quick alteration of a minor nine or a minor 11. It's something that you could do on the sixth tone or whenever you go to a minor chord, usually in most keys, the minor chord is gonna be the two. Uh, it could be the three, it could be the six. My timer's going off, that's five minutes, but that's it for this Chord Crush Thursdays. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I'll play it a couple times around so you can hear it. You hear that? And this is like a jazz chord, kind of more of a Bill Evans type of chord voice, okay? Sorry about that. Okay, that's it. So that's it for this lesson. Hope you enjoyed it. Hit that like button. Help us to grow. And we got more Court Crush Thursdays video coming your way. Peace.